I'm now being joined by Brad Oakley. Brad, what a marvellous R2-D2. Thank you very much. He's my pride and joy. Yeah, and of course, we saw you last year. Yes, yes. This, well, this, this guy wasn't here last year. I've built him in the, in the meantime. Uh, I've got my other silver one in the other room. Um, so tell me about this one in green. This one is R2-X2. He's uh, an original droid from A New Hope. He was having an argument in the background with R2 when they were planning the Death Star run. Um, and we had a lot of the Canon droids in, in the UK from A New Hope. But R2-X2 wasn't one of them. So I thought, why not? You get your R2-D2s in the movie? Uh, not yet, oh. no. Um, you never know, but no, not. Uh, there were two R2 builders that were hired for The Force Awakens, uh, Oliver Steeples and Lee Towsey. Um, they did a great job. Did all of the stuff you saw on Force Awakens with R2 was done by the, the R2 builders. Um, but yeah, so far it's just been those two. So why are you into R2-D2s? It was more the robot for me. Uh, I, I had a large collection of Star Wars figures, um, and I was spending a lot of money on that, and for not a lot of return, really. Uh, and I've always had a robotics interest and electronics and things, so I thought, why not apply them? Um, yeah. Yeah, we actually find it a hobby. And also, rather than spend my money on something which goes on the shelf and disappears and never see it again, this gets out, spreads the love, and kids love it, and we love it. It's great fun. Thank you very much indeed. Thank you. May the force be with you. <laughs> you too. Over a lifetime. Opa Gangnam Style. Thank <laughs> you.